What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claire Rose. And this is The Expanse, Season 5, Episode 5, 55. Things are bad. We're almost at the halfway point of the penultimate season of The Expanse. That's crazy. Nice. Uh, yeah, Earth is not in a good place. Amos is underground. And Naomi's not in a good place. Naomi's in a, Naomi's in a bad place. Uh, Naomi's son is a jerk. Uh, her ex husband mm-hmm. were they married? Maybe not. Her ex boy. I think so. Uh, uh, yeah. Is a very bad jerk. Yeah. Fred Johnson's in another Fred Johnson's place. dead. Yeah. <laughs> Anderson Dawes Sounds hasn't good. been seen in seasons. Uh, if you want the playing through action, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly, but we need to know what happens because, <laughs> you know, it's bad. Yep. Drummer's Faction. Yeah, she's got her, her crew. But it appears that initial fatalities will be in the range of one to two million. The Im- That's not nearly as bad as I thought. That's sad, but like one to two million with 20 billion people on the planet just doesn't seem as bad. Mm-hmm. Which is crazy, but... I mean, they're, they're dead anyway. Some people are going to take that meeting. We will accept. I'm not sure how much Anaros needs the orgy ship, but... <laughs> um, they get shit done. <laughs> what? The change where Earth is on fire in the opening there. Did you miss that? Yeah, I didn't see that. Oh my god! wild what a show all right this was fun thanks so much for watching uh (laughs) they're all fucked now so yeah it's wild to me that there's like four more books past this point yeah because it feels like marco is like the final boss yeah (coughs) our boy's alive okay we can keep watching the show (laughs) bitches Peaches, 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 I do love you, Alex and Naomi and Holden too, a whole Marco and Naros couldn't keep me from you. I'll see if I can find something to make a split. That must have been an earthquake. <laughs> must have been something. Nat 20 strength check from Amos here. Let's go. Fuck. Come on, let's go. Fail to follow my orders and I will shoot you. Understood. We have bigger shit to deal with right now. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, they, no, even, even without even the marker, exactly they happened. have bigger shit to deal with right now. Are you out of your mind? It's my call, my responsibility. You can report me when we get topside. What's the deal? When we're not dead. Where are all the super-powered men? Yeah. Because they were in this courtyard. Yep. Oh, God! (gasps) You gotta get leverage. The concrete and the stairwell should have rebar in it. <laughs> Those traps. Oh. That's what I want to look like. No, not no. actually. Would you do body mods if we lived in like cyberpunk? No. Fair. I don't do body mods now. The elevator is in the way. We're not that far off from this. You can go to the doctor and... Uh... No, we're very far off from that kind of strength augmentation. I just mean from body modifications. Oh, yeah, but from like... Fred Johnson's dead. Marco's people killed him. <laughs> hey, babe. Uh, I only have bad news. 
Alex and Bobby can't reach out because they're currently trying to stealth track the bad guys. Fucking trying because you fucking suck at it. What the hell's going on here? I assaulted a bound woman. <laughs> I get it though. Like he killed Fred. She killed Fred. I, there's some anger there. Yeah. I need you to sink one here and here. Are you kidding? Just do it. <laughs> Why would he joke about that? Yeah. What a weird joke. There's something behind this panel. I need you to shoot this. Tiny, come here. You should stop calling me that. See if you can pull this open. I hope they become best friends. I think they already are. This will work. What an insane exit hatch. Up you go, Sally. All right, let's go, Connor. Chuck, let's move. Who knows how long we got? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Wouldn't you have to, like, go up, up, go up, shoot, come down, he goes up, opens. They can't be on the ladder at the same time, right? I have no idea. Watch your hands. Oh, okay, there's enough room. Okay, interesting. What's the point of this ladder if you need a literal fucking gun to get to it? Well, because only the the security guards can have the guns because they're biometric. Yep. That with when the electricity's on it, you must be able to open these, but you don't need an emergency ladder. If the oh, there, yeah, on. there's got to be some kind of electric, uh, yeah, something that opens that. These people are mixed up in it. We can't let them get away. We've got a fast ship. We can run if we have to. Okay. We try to keep as many of the Hungary rocks between us as I can, block their line of sight. It's our best shot at staying hit. Okay, just be smart about it. I love when the show, like, takes time to point out that our main characters are kind of all geniuses. True. They do it with Naomi a lot. They do it with Alex a lot. Mm -hmm. Especially because Alex can kind of come across as a little bit of a himbo. In yes. In the way that he, like, talks. Like, not not as, like, a bad thing. But... Because he's thirsty. You know what I mean? Alex's TikTok is some ladies. Do you want to give her your ship? No. Hey. <laughs> He's such an ass. Yeah. Whatever you feel, huh? But you can't let those feelings rule you. Damn. They have great chemistry together. Yeah. Like the actors. Yeah. I would not allow that woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alone on a ship. Especially when she's probably spent more time on a Martian ship than any of them. For all the children of the belt. And he's building it on a river of blood. With your help. <laughs> Unless there was a cave in or a fire. Unless they're already dead. Cheery. Sally! He fell off! He was bitching about his leg for the last half hour. I must have gave out. I said get your ass down here! Oh. That's a fun little mystery, though. Did he do it? Did he not? Yeah. I don't think he did. Yeah, I just don't think he cared to save him. I don't know that he could have, right? If he had his hand in the thing and he's got yeah, one hand maybe, holding. Because yeah. Sully had just shot, so he was probably reaching up, trying to open the thing. It's over. I want Amos to hold me like that. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't think they're gonna get Sully's body back. Fuck you, God! You missed again! Shut up! 
<laughs> Given this show's history with elevators falling, <laughs> that gave me a heart attack. Yep. So close. We can do this, too. How can that be daylight? It's all building up there. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm surprised the knives are just like that. You'd think they'd be secured. James Odin. Famous for drinking coffee and saving the system with his crew of Urters, Martians, and Belters. They're really underestimating the team of apparently famous coffee drinkers. Uh, yeah, I guess. That have... <laughs> there was that documentary that was made. Oh. So... <laughs> That's probably how people found out about the coffee. But they're coming for her. I just feel like if they were like suddenly stopped in there and the knives are just in a like little bowl and the knives are going bing 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 bing. Yeah. Hey, she about to try so and kill suspicious. everybody. Just Marco, I think. I've got a knife. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill her son. I don't think she's gonna do it. No, no, this isn't gonna. You need to learn to do as you are told. That's a weird thing to say to your mom. Mm. All right, Naomi, you are a genius engineer. How quickly can you fuck up this shit? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> That might be the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> to be fair, this would also be my response. I know. I would just start laughing. I'd be like, this is... I, I'd have got nothing. <laughs> Holy fuck. Not the Toronto Stock Exchange. <laughs> Whoa, fuck! Call me Tiny! I just peeked the mic so hard, I'm sorry. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> just fucking suplexed him into the abyss. The guy did his job. He got them out alive. Yeah. He's probably more in danger than anything else now that the prison's gone. She's a prisoner. I'm supposed to go. Find your kid. The world is maybe ending. Go, go, to, go find your child. Oh, man. I never thought I'd feel it again. It's beautiful. What do we do now? Oh, no. Yeah. What? The way she's shaking from biting her ma, she said she didn't have the energy for it, right? I don't know how it out of here. works. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God, and go where? The eastern seaboard is f fucking a mess. There's a safety latch in the back. Oh, all right. This is what I mean. <laughs> Thanks. She might be the only person on the ship who knows Martian ships. She might. Hmm. She's just gonna go around collecting weapons. Is Zamiya the ship that she's on? I don't know. I don't know their ship names yet. I'm not sure. <sighs> oh no! I'm 
shutting down the reactor. Oh my god. Out the door! I'm being held captive by her! Where is she? There's no location data. Fug. She's a clever lady. She figured it out. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> And that, the woman with the, like, paw, the, I don't know what to call that haircut style, but she was working on the Rosie, so it makes sense. Yep. She knew what would happen. Yeah. That's why she was so fucking cocky about it. Time to do your stuff, fly boy. Try not to get spotted. Easy for you to say. I mean, she called it your stuff. I, I don't know. They should have disguised it with, like, paint or something. I don't think that color matters in space because I don't think you can see the ships. Time to go. Here comes the juice. <laughs> Literally. Yep. You gotta wonder how much having that in their systems constantly like wears the body down. <sighs> yeah. But they know that too. Interesting. So belter bodies can't handle it makes sense, right? Can they not? No, he's saying we can hard burn longer because their bodies can handle more Gs. For the same reason Belters can't go down to the planet side. I never thought about the effect in space. But when they speed up, Belter bodies are going to wear down faster. <laughs> this is so dynamic. I love this ship. It's so cool. Yeah. Oh. oh, even Bobby's nose is bleeding. That's when things get serious. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Rude. Fucking rude. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Wow. <sighs> Low wow. That was fun. Yeah, fun. That's stressful. Fun. Much fun. <sighs> the Belters are so fascinating. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I don't know his name, but the, the older guy on Marco's team. You know, he's, try he's trying so hard to, like, win Naomi over. While also carrying these like deep secrets that he knows are gonna just destroy her. Yeah, yeah. And having both of those things there is just it's it's remarkable. He's television. a very guilty bad person. <laughs> yeah. And he's bad at being guilty. Yes. And he's not great at being bad either. No. Like No, but his 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 point makes sense, right? Like like the the he, the, the oppression oh. and then the the long standing impression and what it causes people to do. I mean, you know, look yeah. at and he, our world right now, but he let himself get manipulated into it. Yeah. Yeah. Not even manipulated in though. Like his cause isn't you know, it's 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 a deeply political show and I think the politics of the show are difficult to talk about at the moment given the state of the world, but you know, it's it's hard to completely say that like his that their actions Given a, given a situation where there was no way out of the the oppression of the inners, and given the actions of Murtry last season that were broadcast, right? Like the you know even even in the escape to new worlds idea and the the hope that that brings to so many within the universe, the the knowledge that the inners were going to treat the Belters the way that Murtry and his crew did leads to shit like this. And it was just, a, it was a nail in the coffin of, well, maybe one day we'll be able to explore the rest of the universe and then the idea of Earther Belter and Martian won't matter as much. Mm. And immediately upon going to those other places, the Earth side didn't help hold up the bargain of the new, right? They didn't provide the opportunity. They, they shut it down and committed murder and endangered children. And, the, the, you know, the Belters in that situation are looking at it like, hey, like, if we can't even have some kind of freedom with all of these new planets and you're still going to kill us. Well, what, fuck, what are we fighting for? What, what, what's the point? Right? Yeah, yeah. We just got this huge... The events of <clears throat> season four made people m more susceptible to, like, like being manipulated into this yeah. idea that they... 
and, and that 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 was already simmering, right? Like it wasn't like oh, it like brought it sure. about, but it was just like it goes it goes back to my frustrations with Murtry as a character and like his his actions were so poorly thought out. And this is what it leads to is is this kind of Yeah. Oh, he's the worst kind of person. Yeah. Cause he's so self righteous and he just makes the world a worse place on a scale that like he may he probably wasn't even aware of, you know what I mean? Yeah, and the failure of anyone in his crew to stand up to him, yeah. right? The 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 woman, um, the one that almost was sleeping with, like it, she she had every opportunity to be like, hey, like no, we're not going to commit these atrocities, yeah, uh, and didn't, and so yeah. she's she's like in the blame as well for that. She is also the problem. And look, I I don't think that the the writing of that season is as strong as this one, but I it does lead into this season well. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. sure, for sure. Um. No, the, this this season is amazing. Like the the direction the show's taking, the performances from everybody. I think Clarissa uh, has really grown in the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, the actress is doing a great job of portraying her and Amos's relationship here. And yeah, uh, I, I thought the three the security guards were great. Yeah, oh, they were yeah. great. They weren't around long, but they're wonderful. Uh, and Karishnikov, uh, I thought he was excellent as well. Very funny, but also like a, a dark humor that I thought really worked for the situation. What do you think Carmina is gonna do? Um, I don't know. I I don't know. I I think that she's. I I don't think with how Ashford went out, Axford that um. Ashford, Axford, Ashford. I think Ashford. Yeah. God, I'm dyslexic. Um, the I don't think she would ever be on his side, right? Well, no. Like, I, I'm I'm kind of hoping she takes this meeting with Marco and discovers that Naomi is there. Oh yeah, she could be the one that saves Naomi. That'd be great. Because, you know, Holden sweeping in to save Naomi is like... He, he can't. He doesn't have a ship. Well, but that's the thing. is like, how the hell is he going to get there? He's not. But, like, Carmina has the means and the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Uh, potentially, you know, maybe maybe not. Or maybe, maybe Marco is, like, fully aware of Carmina's feelings. Especially since, you know, they almost killed him. Uh, that it, this meeting might just be a ruse. Yeah. Um, but I think I think if anyone can help out Naomi, it will be Carmina. Yeah, I, I think that this is uh, th- this season is really playing on some real world political stuff that uh, is really working for it. I, it makes it a little bit complicated to talk about right now. Um, but uh, you know, because there's a lot of the, 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 it's it's very it's very present in the world, and the idea of whose thumb is pushing the screws right now. Um, the us and them narrative is a little s- strong. Yeah. Right um, now. <laughs> and I think that that's, when sci- that's what sci-fi is for, right? I think that we use fantasy and we use sci-fi to tell stories about the present without, like, directly pointing at things. Uh, and you see or the... directly, depending on the story, but yeah. <laughs> um, I, I find that the more direct you are, the less effective it is. That's fair. Because it, it's, it feels, it almost feels ch- like it cheapens the reality. When you are like, these are the literal people. Sure. You know, I, I think that um, we had that problem with Attack on Titan, where I was like, it's the, the, you, you've lost the plot for me when you start to just use the imagery of actual World War II instead yeah. of just making up your version of it. Yeah, yeah, um, sure. I think that when you get too close to reality, you actually get away from being able to say anything about it because there's too think, many real feelings involved. Yes, exactly. People people uh, disconnect. Yeah. They disassociate with it, for sure. And I think that this is this season and this episode did a re- have done a really good job of um, playing on the themes of those political conversations mm-hmm. that, that are still ongoing and that, you know, we're, we're still kind of failing as a society to um, uh, approach responsibly. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, I think that it's, it's doing that in a way that isn't making anyone currently the villain but rather like the concept of the villain, which allows us to see it in the world that we have now yeah. uh, and and draw out conclusions about the way that we should be living our life in the present. I think that that's yeah. what good art does. Yeah. And I just, I think that the expanse is is really good art. Yes, absolutely. Like yeah. there are people who are villains or villainous, but like the us and them idea is just inherently flawed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On on every every level, every yeah. level. It's, it's, it's never gonna be that easy even though people want it to be. Yeah, and I, I think that it, it does... Um, it, 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 I, I would love to meet the people who are like, well, The Expanse isn't political. People say that? No, but like people say that about Star Wars all the time, and they're like, 
that's stu- because it's so dumb. That, it's, that's it's, because it's Americans who don't want to see themselves as the villain. Yeah, yeah, and and or or it's just like the, a complete lack of media literacy, right? Like, sure. Yeah. Um, but I I do think that there are probably people that are like, well, the Expanse isn't woke. The Expanse is, and I, I it's it's very funny because I think that it, it very much is. I'm sure there's um, I'm sure those people exist. I haven't encountered them. No, I do wonder if I went back on the internet to when the show was coming out, how people would feel about it, but. Fair. Because this, this is a very, this is a deeply political show. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that it handles that in a way that complicates all the sides of the issue uh, and does not have, like, good and bad. It doesn't take the easy way out yeah. ever. Um, and I, I commend it for that. It's the reason it is probably one of my favorite shows ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, it takes balls. Yeah. Uh, God, I hope everyone's okay. Even though I know they're not. If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry. And we must feed her this episode. That algorithm goddess is... Oh my god. Peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. She's been in prison. She's probably starving for a real meal. If you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. Do something nerdy tonight, y'all. Bye. Bye. Bye.